Все, что вы сказали, это полная правда, абсолютная. Everything you said about the Patriot Act and data collection is true, pure and simple, as they say. Everything goes through servers located in the U.S. Everything is monitored there. You should simply always bear in mind that such is the reality created by the Americans. They did it. You know that it all began initially when the Internet first appeared as a special CIA project. And this is the way it is developing. The rest is what has made it to the market and took on huge proportions. Nevertheless, it is initially a military program, a special program, and special services are still at the center of things. Russian President Vladimir Putin calls the Internet a CIA project. The Russian leader has warned his people against making Google searches, as the CIA has, quote, controlled the Internet from the start. Putin emphasized that every entry made into Google goes through servers in the United States. He stressed that the Internet was a special project, which the CIA has been developing to this day. Putin's comments come on the backdrop of revelations made public by a former NSA contractor. Edward Snowden exposed a massive U.S. surveillance campaign which infringed on the personal liberties of people around the world, including diplomats of American allies. Well, to discuss that further, I'm joined by Mr. Mike Harris, who is the editor of Veterans Today, and he's now joining us on the line from Portland. Mr. Harris, thanks for joining us now. How do you react to this? Um, is the Internet a CIA project? Well, I think that Mr. Putin is merely stating the obvious. Uh, you have to look where the Internet came from. It was developed uh, in conjunction with DARPA, which is the, uh, the military R&D wing of the, uh, the U.S. government. Uh, CIA has first access to all of these types of technologies and projects. And you've got probably the data, the greatest data collection device ever known to man, and that is the Internet itself. And everyone, uh, everything everyone does is under surveillance uh, 24 by 7, and uh, there is no privacy left in this world if you participate and use uh, the Internet at all. Um, so then going forward, uh, when, you know, when the Russian president makes such a significant statement, what does this say, also say about relationship, do you, do you think, between the U.S. and Russia now that the Russian president is speaking so openly about what you say is something very obvious? Well, I, I think I, I have to give uh, kudos to uh, President Putin. I think he has, uh, as I said, stated the obvious. And I'm disappointed with the U.S. government. Um, whenever Ronald Reagan uh, was president and the Berlin Wall came down and there was a normalization of relationships with uh, the former Soviet Union, Russia, the CIS states, we were expecting things to get a lot better. We were expecting trade. We were expecting commerce. We were expecting a number of things. And, and our government has failed us here in the USA by not taking advantage of the situations. And the U.S. Stuff still suffers from great economic mis and financial mismanagement on, be hard up, on be behalf of our of our government. They've really bungled this whole thing, and you look at the state of the economy in the U.S., it's because of mismanagement, absolute mismanagement from, from the, from the get-go on this. And it was a squandered opportunity to not develop a closer uh, a trade relationship with uh, Russia and the CIA states. Now they're falling back to their old bag of tricks and trying to escalate tension to create perhaps a uh, Cold War got to. So what then is the end goal, Mr. Harris, of all this ratcheting up of tensions from the side of the United States towards Russia? I mean, certainly we do know, of course, Edward Snowden was given temporary asylum, and I, I would imagine that did anger the U.S. government. But would that be reason enough to ratchet up tensions to such an extent? Well, you have to look at the USA being on the verge of financial collapse. Uh, it was in 2007 that uh, the people of the United States had to bail out the big banks. There has been no recovery in this country. The economic conditions in the U.S. continue to deteriorate. The U.S. continues to export manufacturing base. Uh, we have chronic unemployment. We've got illegal immigration out of control. Uh, tension within the U.S. itself. Uh, people are figuring out they have been betrayed by their own government. And uh, uh, there's going to be a great deal of civil unrest uh, in probably the not distant future. I, I hope we can avoid it, but it, it's looking worse every day. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. But, of course, we do appreciate you speaking to us. That was Mr.